Hi everybody, I'm Scott, Cowboy Leather and Shoe Repair. Today, I'm going to show you how I make the belt. It's going to be a quick, easy belt to make, no tooling. I'm just going to show you how to set it up, cut the belt, and what you do after, after that, you go ahead, you can tool it, or whatever. I'm not going to uh, double ply it. I've got a piece of... Uh, 10, 9, 10 ounce leather, and it's already brown, it's already ready to go. I've already cut it, it's cut it an uh, inch and a half. So let me get you switched around here and we'll show you how we're going to do this. Be right back. Alright, basic things you're going to need is your belt blank. This one here is uh, 62 inches long. Like I said, I cut it out of a uh, 9 to 10 ounce uh, side. This can be tooled if you so desire. I like going with stuff that's already got the color to it. I've had uh, issues in the past with using a veg tan, dyeing it, and going through all the procedures of sealing it and everything else, and it still transfers uh, color onto the customer's clothes or whatever. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> things you will need. These are homemade patterns. That's for the buckle end. That's for the tongue end. Now I go with seven holes. You do whatever you want to do. The C is the center. If my customer tells me that they need a, we'll say a 34 inch belt, that's where 34 will be. And they've got room to shrink. And they did, they got room to expand. Now that's a homemade one. You can also go to, uh, Maker's Leather Supply and get he sells out patterns in acrylic that's got your holes in it and this is the one the end for the tongue these come as a set they're not expensive so you can use those you'll need Scratch all, an end punch. This one happens to be a inch, inch and a half, fits the belt. Now you can also, if you haven't got one of those, you can also cut this by hand. Knife for just cutting whatever. <coughs> Slot punch. This one is a one inch. This is a number four uh, weaver hole punch. Just some kind of knife to cut. Now, what we're gonna do here is, when we get around to it, <clears throat> excuse me, this is already got cut, skived, and uh, round the edges off. This is going to be your belt, the keeper. Now you can make this keeper using two different, two or three different methods. They make a stapler that you can put your staples in there. But what we're going to do, and I'll show you here right quick. We'll slide this aside. Handy dandy pondo board. I use a five millimeter hole punch, or not hole punch, but uh, stitching chisel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little, I'm going to come here, stay in just to, just a smidge off the edge there. Poke two holes there. 
Swing around, come in, stay off the edge of touch. Thump yourself in two holes, set that aside. Now, whatever color you thread you want to use, it doesn't make any difference because it's going to be hidden. Needle, lay that there. Give yourself a little bit of thread. Cut it. Throw up your needle. Put a little knot in the end of here. I do is come through here. Pull a knot up. Come around. And I'm going to run it through here once. Pull that up. Get your finger out of the way. Doesn't work very well. Draw it up. Pull it up. Then I come down here to the other hole. Or you come around this way. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to stitch this together. Come into you see it come into that hole pull it through pull it tight you're going to make an axe is what we're doing here <coughs> drop it through Just keep making a nice pattern. Through. You don't have to get real crazy about it. always happen. But anyways, this what that's what you do to make one of these. Just set that aside and finish it off. Now, get to the belt. I'm going to use this end for my buckle end. So, there it is. I made a mark right there. Throw a piece of leather under here. I've already found center just, just to be on the safe side. 
line it up. Now that is a whacker. I do is I take punch take this just not now you if you're gonna stitch your buckles on you're only gonna need your slot punch you won't need these these four holes here so let's go ahead and now what you can do is if you haven't got a slot punch take that You can do this, it's easy. That's just a little bit too big to use. So you're gonna have to come in here. You've already marked it. Easy peasy. All right, we're done with that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put a buckle on this. So. the board get that out of the way all right now you got your holes in there I kind of do is just kind of eyeball the holes now you can go let me go ahead and scribe this back a little bit. Be right back. All right, back. So I decided I'm going to I scribe that down a little bit. So I decided I'm going to put uh, line 24s in here. Snaps. You can also sew these up, but I like to leave it so my customer can uh, change belt buckles if they so desire. You can use Chicago screws, you can sew it. You can do whatever you, you want to do with it. I put everything together I like to 
test, make sure the snaps are going to snap. Pull them off. So, now, I finish this up. Slip that on there like so. Okay, that's why you want to check. Got a bad boo. Sometimes it don't work. Sometimes it does. Let me get another. All right, there we go. Got one to stay. So that's what you what we're dealing with down here. I get these buckles. Uh, thousand. I I think I got uh, five thousand for a really good price. So like I say, I put snaps in them, or you push Chicago screws in, and you know let your customers change the belt buckles. Now, normally what I do is I don't I don't do anything. This has already been edged, uh, so this one's done. Now, if I was cutting this for for a customer, kill up here. Hate talking myself. Now, if this was for a customer. It already, I'd already know what they, you know, what they wanted. But it's not for a customer. It's for just hanging out. Because if I get somebody to come in, and now I do have some belts out there, and you can make them if you're going to do uh, like craft fairs and stuff like that. You can have some cut, like we'll say 34s, 36s, uh, already pre made. But what I do, just so the customers, uh, when they come in, I tell them either give me your belt that you've got, and we'll go from there, or I have them thread the belt through their. Oh, we got a customer coming in. Anyways. Let me put you on hold. Let me deal with the customer. I'll come back. Don't go away. All right, back. Sorry about that. All right, now, like I was saying, I leave them long. If I hang them up here in the shop, I leave them long because I have my customer comes in. I have have them thread through their belt, their belt loops, and run it through, and, and we'll cut it to that length. Or I tell them to, tell them to give me their belt. And we cut it off of that. But if you're doing uh, craft fairs or whatever, uh, my suggestion is, is leave some long. Don't, don't cut them to size unless there's an exception. Now, if you tool this belt and don't double ply it and just tool it, you can cut it off, poke your holes for your belt for your uh, buckle, no problem. But if you're making belts and you're double plying them and you're tooling them and stitching them, then I would make specific. I would make it, you know, your 36s, your 30, you know, your 30s, your 40s, whatever, because you don't want to go ahead and cut that belt once you've got it all finished out. Especially if you're at a craft fair and you don't have your sewing machine or whatever hand stitch. It's a pain in the butt. It don't look good. So, that's just my suggestion. You're making the belts. It's your projects. You do it the way you want to do it. And, you know, it's all good. So, that's just, that's just how I do it. I hope you caught some, some, you know, kind of ideas. 
like I say, this is the way I, I do it. I've done it for a long time this way. And it works for me. If you can pick up just a little tweak here and there that I showed you to make your own belts, yay. All right, I'm going to get to work. I hope everybody has a good weekend. Be safe, and we'll see you in the next go-around. Cowboys out. Have a good one now. Bye-bye.